Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Just Start On Playing, a Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Strength Build. Last episode we uh, started doing the Iron Keep, and today we're going to go and continue our way through the Iron Keep. Actually managed to first try uh, the Smelter Demon by using a Bright Buck and Lightning Pine Resin, while also using my plus 8 Battle Axe, because I was lucky with the Belfry Covenant and got myself 2 extra, or 3 extra, actually no, 2 extra uh, Titan Chunks. So there we go, people. You now have all of the information that you need to beat the Smelter Demon. And also just knowing how the Smelter Demon fights, really. That also really helps. Right. Let me go and take a look. Yeah, this is definitely a... This is definitely a player. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this guy, and then chop him. How many bones do I have right now? I have three of them. Oh, I can upgrade my bow again. Which I think I'll go and do, because my bow actually does a lot of freaking damage. And it's good for baiting out enemy encounters. And also just killing people, really. There we go. It does cost me a lot of stamina to use, but... It repays that stamina in damage output. Okay, he is going to go and try to destroy the bridge, and I'm not going to allow him to do that. <laughs> We're going to see how this is going to go, because... Ironclads are an issue. Well, they can be an issue. I'm not gonna put myself behind you because then you're gonna drop on me, which is not a good situation for me. <laughs> okay. My mace would be better against these guys, but yeah, this battle axe is amazing. It does a metric crap load of damage, so I don't think I'll switch off for this thing. The thing I will do, however, is pull this over because that's gonna allow somebody to fall into the lava. <laughs> See ya! Please. Okay, now before we do that entire area, though, let's first go and take a little side path. Ready? Does it work? Cool. I've noticed that, like, the kick equivalent in this game, or, like, a shield bash or shield break in this game is not as amazing as... <laughs> uh, as the kick in Dark Souls. Alright. The Thunder Quartz Ring, which I think... Is that the... Hmm. Um, that's the Resistance one, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the other one. Um, I thought it was the Clutch Rings. Would do like more damage and lower your absorption. Right. Is absorption a thing in this game, or is it just defense? I think it's just defense, right? Yeah, there's no, there's no absorption in this game. Which I quite like, though. That makes stats a little bit more... Important, I suppose, like the defense stat. So we're another Bell Covenant place. I don't really need to care too much about this, so I'm just gonna go and ignore the little boa. And kill the runts. We're also getting a pyromancy, apparently. Flamesworth. Hello, friends. Let me go and uh, just cut you into pieces. Another thing I'm gonna do right now, because I can, is equip the Jester's Gloves. If I can find them in any case, because I bought them last episode, and they increase the number of souls that I acquire, so I might as well. I'm not going to be wearing the helmet, because I don't like the way the helmet looks. And I'm only going to equip item discovery things when I need to grind for items. He says as he's running around with the little hat. Maybe I should change my hat. My god. <laughs> the jumping attack in this game is ridiculous. Let me go and just... Okay, he shot me in the head. Which, of course, stunned me. He blocked? Did you block, really? How did he even block me? There we go. Well, can you parry great weapons? I don't think that you can. I don't think that you can in this game. I know that you can parry him in Dark Souls 3. At least, you can parry the ultra great swords when the enemy is one-handing him. Otherwise, he can't. I've also just noticed that I'm human in this place. Which is basically asking for an invasion. <laughs> which might be an issue. But it also might not. Simpleton Spice. Don't really care too much about that. I can hear the gate opening up. Let's go use up all of my stamina climbing the freaking ladder. Um, that's just going to lead to my death. This dude is here. Everybody's here. <laughs> wow. 
pathetic. Um, any items around here? Keep forgetting. I think there's something down there. Yep. Let me go and get it. A simpleton spice. Right. I think the little buggers won't be able to climb ladders, but they will be able to shoot arrows, so... I think I'm just gonna go and stick around here and let the dude with his big old great sword walk over to me. Right, get over here, buddy. Roll. Ow. Roll. <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> and cut him into pieces. Sayonara. Let me go run down here. Kill you. And your friend. Because all of you are at least a little bit annoying. There we go. Ah, let me look at that. There we go. <laughs> Can I actually get out of this place? Oh, wow. He backstabbed me. For not a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's interesting. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Dual wielding daggers is pretty dang cool, though. If anything. Ah, crap. I cannot block that shit. I was hoping it would. I was really hoping it would bounce off, but that doesn't seem to work. They see me rolling. They hate Dan. Is he using the DLC daggers? I think he is. Well, see you later, asshole. Is this gonna give me another Titanite chunk? Oh yeah. You see what I mean? You can, you can get Titanite Chunks with Royal Devise, too. Let's go and open up the chest. Bodo, bodo! And get Immolation, which is a Pyromancy. A Pyromancy that I don't particularly care about. Human Effigy and some Trochets. <laughs> okay, I know that there is a hidden wall somewhere around here. Also, for some kind of reason, I got a text message. And I also heard people maneuvering around, so let me go and take a look for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> well, okay, then. That was, uh, that had nothing to do with anything that I heard. Cool. There it is. Right. Let's go and grab one of the weapons that I needed for this place. <laughs> Definitely the protective chime, people. Let me go and move uh, my chair for a little bit, because it's being a little bit annoying. The Black Knight Greatsword. At least I think it's one that I needed. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about that. Right. So the bonfire is down there, but I don't care about it too much. Well, the thing is, if I go to the bonfire, I have to go back to Belfry Soul again if I want to continue. Which, uh, spoilers, I don't. <laughs> okay, now we can press these uh, pressure plates over here. And they will allow you to get rid of some of these platforms. I shot him in the nuts. Nice. Is he just gonna fall off? No. He's smarter than that. As, uh, hmm. unfortunately enough. <laughs> the thing I will do, however, is uh, pull this lever because the game forgot. Actually, no, I... I rested the bonfire, so... This thing doesn't reset if you... Uh, I'm sorry, this thing resets if you're rested the bonfire. Maybe I want to go and walk towards him first and kill him. And then watch out for that dude. Um, okay. That guy's gonna die from fire. No? Ah, oh, come on. You should have given it to me, game. There we go. At least the captain didn't notice me. The captain, uh, like, there's another captain around here who shoots his great bow and all that so. There's also some pressure plates over here. You want to watch out for those because if you press them, then lava starts flowing. Also, there was one of these boys and also a crystal lizard that I didn't see. Hmm. Getting him is going to be a difficult task, though. There's also a chest over there if you're, if you're willing. <laughs> I cannot really say that it's going to be worth it, though, what's in that chest. I have no idea what's in it. I've never in my life gotten that chest, so I wouldn't know what's in it. 
Okay, a long light armor. Let me go run this way. Run this way and kill this dude. There we go. There's an ironclad. Also, the armor that you would get from the ironclads in this area would be the normal ironclad armor, by the way. Before you would get the old ironclad armor, and these guys will drop the normal ironclad armor. Basically, the good ironclad armor. Another thing that I don't think I've ever mentioned before, but if you wear... I already have <laughs> Nullified foes critical hits, by the way, if you wear this. So, it's the same as in the Jester's hat, where you cannot get backstabbed or, uh, or reposted, I think. I'm not sure about being parried. That's, some, that's something I'm very unsure about. Oh, hello. I did not see you there for a moment. Let me go and use... Nope, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be fast enough, but no. These guys move at the freaking speed of light. Good old alumni's leggings. Good. Right, I was going to think... Yeah, I was going to change the helmet that I was wearing. Since I didn't really like it too much. Whoopsie. Hmm. <laughs> Jester's cap? No, it's ugly. Let's see. Old Night Helm, I quite like that one, but that's too heavy. A long Night Helm, ooh. Yeah, not sure. Well, the thing is, I kind of want to see the face of my character and the hair. I really like the hair of this character. <laughs> so, it kind of makes me think that I'm... Hmm. Ooh. You know what, I can actually kind of deal with the inf infantry stuff. Varangian, not really, I don't like that one too much. But the infantry one is pretty dang decent. Let me go move my microphone for a bit. Yeah, not sure. Well, nah, it looks, it looks ridiculous. I can wear this thing, though. This hat looks good, like always. So, I could wear heavier armor now. If I wanted to, I could wear stuff like this. I've been wearing this armor set, like the Hate Knight stuff, for a long time. So maybe I should switch over to something else. Or the Old Knight stuff. Yeah, no. I think I'll run around with the Elon armor. It's a pretty good armor set, so... Is this a Mimic? No. The thing that this will trigger, however, is an invasion, so... Be ready to get invaded if you upgrade... Uh, if you grab this thing. You'll be invaded by uh, Oliver the Collector, who uses spears and a greatsword. Wait, is he using... I think I know which greatsword he's using, and that's kind of insane if he is. Really? He is called Oliver the Collector because he uses a lot of different weapons. Now, oh. he actually combos that shit. That's amazing. Now he uses the puzzle one. Interesting maneuver. I'm gonna backstab you. Use a life gem for a moment. He's also using the Saint Year Spear, wow. And I think he's using... Um, yeah, he's using the Abyss Sword. Or, I don't remember the name in this game, but he's using uh, Artorius' sword. Which you can get in the DLC. And it's also a sword that requires some ridiculous stats. Well, it just requires 20 faith and 20 intelligence to use. It doesn't even do dark damage or anything, it just requires that. Which is interesting. So, are there three of these guys, or two? Three. <laughs> Alright, here we go, people. Oh lord, we coming. Did he miss me? Did that guy seriously miss me? Not like I'm complaining, but it is kind of ridiculous, though. There we go. Nice. I win. And I get a Simpleton Spice as a reward. <laughs> and then we get the Alon Knight Captain stuff, Titanite Shards and Fire Arrows. And this is the reason why I came here. Well, I'm going to be exploring just about everything in this game in general, because there's so many good items around. Uh, but I got the Black Knight Great Axe over there, which is... A really important one, I would say. Alright. Cracked Red Eye Orb and a torch. It would be very shitty if I died right now. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. There's an Alon Knight over here, right? No? Okay. No, that one is down there. Okay. Maybe I should shoot him. Because uh, I don't want to deal with him. <laughs> well, I would say that. If only my character would aim properly. There we go. There's another all night over there. <laughs> and then he starts jiggling around in a very weird way. I hate this drop, but I have to do it. Okay. 
And then this skeleton has the normal Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. You can get the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring plus one with relative ease when you just buy a couple of things from Mage World, the merchant in the beginning of this area. So it's only a little bit pointless. There's also an Iron Clan over here. Whom I will try to kill. Well, gotta watch out for his. Well, the thing is, I knew I was gonna be able to kill him fast enough to the point that he wouldn't be able to lock me. Like, they wouldn't be able to fall backwards and uh, squish me. Alright. We have another ironclad over here. Yeah, I was not close enough to him to be able to do my full damage. There we go. My weapon durability is starting to fail, though. Which is a little bit of an issue. Right. There's gonna be an ironclad over here. And you can actually lure him underneath this thing. And it's gonna kill him if it drops on him. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. And I guess it is also kind of useless. Uh, sorry, kind of useful because killing uh, this guy in a very tight space is not particularly easy to do. Also, this fire is absolutely devastating. You do not want to get hit by this fire. At least, uh, I would say definitely at this point. Because getting hit by the fire at this point would be pretty dang bad. And you will see in a moment. There we go. The reason being is because there's a bonfire over here. But that, my friends, is not the only reason. The other reason is when you pull this lever, you can shut off the fire. To this entire place, by the way. Any statue that would normally be, be breathing fire is now officially turned off. <sighs> nice suit. Be. Let's go and I think continue. A, hmm. Well, I'm gonna need both of these. Sure. I'm gonna continue increasing my HP first. There we go. And I'm gonna stock up on more uh, life gems. How many do I have right now? 99. Okay. Yeah. I think I've reached. I've either reached the cap or I'm already over the cap. Let's go this way. The battle axe is so good, man. And you can also get it so early in the game. It's insane, man, how good this thing is. Uh, do I have anything else that I needed to go and deliver over there? No. Okay. Uh, I have three titan... Okay, let me go and turn around for a moment. Because there's some stuff I can do right now. <laughs> some pretty useful stuff. Some even more useful stuff than before. What am I even... Like, I don't even know how I come up with the things that I say. Alright. So. I can now upgrade this one to the next level. And I can technically use the Titanite slab on it. I like it a lot, though. I think I will. There we go. I should be able to get Titanite slabs by farming in some kind of a way. I think. I guess we'll have to see about that later on in the game. Um, it's not necessary to upgrade weapons to plus 10 anyway, so... It is very good, yes. But it's not 100% necessary, I think. I also just really like the battle axe. This is gonna be my go-to weapon. For the entirety of the game, I think. 412... <laughs> 412 damage out of my battle axe, plus 10. And uh, 400 damage out of my bow, plus 3, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, it's, it's something. Let's go and uh, kill the old Iron King, our next Great Soul. And then I have finally unlocked Titanite Shards as a thing that I can buy. I love Desquat. Kind of want to see your body. He's also using the hat and using the Wanderer stuff, Halberd. Interesting. Yeah, this hat's really good. I can also get it relatively early in the game, so... Still kind of want, like, I don't care much for the face of this character, but I do care about his hair. I really like the way the hair looks, so. 
I can also run around without a helmet, really. I'm actually going to take a look at how that would look without a helmet. Because what does it change? It does give me more defense, though. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. Let me also go in there. <laughs> Just let that guy do his thing. And then kill him. You know what? Since I don't really care too much for item discovery anymore, I am overweight with that. Okay. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to do that. Because then I will be overweight. Which is a bad situation. There's a summon sign over here. Develoid. Most is a hexer. Your most typical of hexers. It is so intriguing that the Dark Souls 2 community is surprisingly alive. <laughs> like, I find that to be so perplexing because I thought Dark Souls 2 was dead. At least the community in Dark Souls 2 was dead. Yeah, because fuck that tower, am I right? Right, sweeping attack. And karate chop. Well, karate chop with, you know, clenched fist. <laughs> the most dangerous thing in this battle is this pit of lava over there. If you roll into that pit, you're fucking dead. Well, it's just straight up a one shot, so... It's just like it's just like falling into a pit. So, aside from that, the old Iron King telegraphs his attacks really well, and yeah, it usually isn't too bad. It can still fuck you up though. I would not underestimate him, but especially when he does stuff like that. When he does any fire attack, this is the safe place, the safe space to be. I feel because most of his fire doesn't reach, and then he can also do this, which is fire a laser out of his hand. He does do different attacks if you camp over here. It's gonna start doing more ranged attacks, so. I would only try to go over here once you like one like if you need to avoid his fire breath attack. Aside from that, this guy's a piece of cake. Always has been. Probably always will be. <laughs> Alright, light my primal bonfire. Aye. How would the uh, Alon Knight leggings look? Uh they're over here. Because there are what I actually have here. Wow. That's amazing. Meh. Nah. Yeah, they're heavier and worse in defense. Yeah, once again, man. This is so insane. The Drang Lake male, or the Drang Lake armor in general, is such a ridiculously good armor set. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this one. Maybe. Hmm. I feel like I'm too beefy with this. Nah, I'm fine though. This character's supposed to be beefy, so. Let's go back to the far fire. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the Iron Keep. In a nutshell. Not too bad. It really didn't go too bad. I was I was fine. Even though I jumped... Well, that was jumping into a pit for a million times. So... Uh, what am I doing over here? <laughs> I want to level up. I think I just reached a million soul memory, I think. Um... Hmm... More dexterity, more HP. I think I'm gonna go for more HP again. Once again, gonna go for 30 HP, like 30 levels in HP, and 30 levels in... Uh, well, I'm gonna go for more in stamina, but I really want to focus on some HP. That's gonna help me out in the long run. You've been long. Well. And finally, we can buy unlimited Titanite shards. And I can buy Lodge Titanite from Lenny Grass. When can you buy Lodge Titanite from her? Let me go and take a look at that, eh? If you will give me a moment for the wiki page to load. <laughs> um, available after clearing a Drang Lake castle. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> but I can buy the normal Titan Knight shards. Are they always a thousand? Well, they might be a thousand from her. But they're 800 from him, I think. Yeah, there's actually a difference. How many... Souls do you ask? Like, how many souls do you ask for? This one's 2,500. Shut up. <laughs> 2,500. Uh, I want to go and take a look at Macduff. Let's see. Hmm. 
Also 2,500, okay. Be gone. All right, another thing I'm gonna do, just to end off this, I guess this session, I would say, of Dark Souls 2 for me, because I'm gonna be doing a metric crap lot of grinding to get the weapons that I might have missed, and also to um, upgrade all of these weapons to a certain, like, to uh, plus six, I think. And then I'll start running around the game with a lot of different weapons, which will be very interesting. At least to me, in any case. I think to the viewer, like, to the audience also. I don't think I'm going to run around with this armor, though. I don't like it too much. <laughs> this one? <laughs> no. Mannequin top. I actually quite like the mannequin top. But it's... Yeah. I've noticed that in this game, defense is an actual stat. So... I like the Alon stuff, then. Sure. Okay. Let's go and drop my smooth and silky stones. I'm gonna walk over here for a little bit. Leave one. You have to leave them one by one, by the way. If you do it like this, then they will all turn into uh, items. Otherwise, they won't. So, Bleedstone. Soul of a Lost and Dead. Titanite Chunk. <laughs> and the Old Whip. That's a cool drop you got there. Would have been... Would have been a lot nicer if I could, you know, get... The old demon hammer. A titanite chunk wow. Twinkling titanite. That's pretty dang good. <laughs> I think I'll drop it like this. <laughs> Petrified dragon bone. And another piece of twinkling titanite. But no demon hammer for me. Because fuck me, that's why. <laughs> Alright then, cool. Alright people, I do think that that will uh, conclude this episode of Just So I Was Playing a Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, strength build. And the next episode we're going to go and start going towards uh, Brightstone Cove. So we're going to do the Shaded Woods, basically. Which is the area that I've already been to. Like, I've already entered it a little bit. And yeah, that's the area where I'm going to be going next episode. But first... I'm gonna be doing a metric crap load of a grinding off camera <laughs> for souls and probably also items. Goodbye.